Vape Doctor here with my video review of the Atmos Boss Personal Portable Vaporizer. The reason I say personal portable is, as you can see, it is fully charged. I am going to put the unit together. The unit looks really nice, it's really well made, it's got laser etching which I think is a bit overkill um, for what it is and I'll show you that in just a minute. Uh, the chamber itself is very shallow, it's very small. It's, it's a lot smaller than you think it would be. It is stainless steel and at the top is a kind of a plastic that is the same as the Solo. I'm not exactly sure uh, what, what you call that, but it's the same material as a Solo. Okay, get that packed in there. I don't like to use the tamping tool. I don't. Uh, I still. Let, this has a hole at the bottom of the uh, the chamber, and air comes through the four side holes and actually goes through the bottom of the chamber to give it a convection style conduction hybrid. Now. Five clicks turns it on. Keep watching the time. It's a minute and 28 seconds. It takes 40 seconds to turn on. Now I'm going to tell you right now. I'm going to I'm going to uh, I'm, going to, I'm going to use the vape and I'm going to tell you as it's charging up what I don't like about it. Uh, keep watching when you watch the video. Watch the time. You'll see that it uh, started at 28 seconds. So two minutes and eight seconds. It'll be heated up. 40 seconds to heat up, and then it takes. It stays on for a minute and 15 seconds. So the whole vape session is under two minutes. Um, it is a really small chamber. It's a personal portable. Like, hurry up, I'm at work. Go out and go get my vape on. Get six hits. Call it a day. And because of that, I think they should have shortened the battery to about an inch. They should have shortened the chamber because it doesn't stay on long enough to get hot. And uh, that's the reason that they have the ceramic screen inside the mouthpiece. I usually take these out, but this actually keeps the temperature in the oven up so you don't blow, blow the whole entire chamber. All right, let's give it a couple of hits. Taste is average. Um, taste it doesn't taste as good as the transporter, um, but the taste is average. Good vapor production. I just, I mean, you, I'm going to have to hold it here so you can see the light goes off. And then when you, you turn it back on, five clicks, three minutes, 27 seconds into the video, it's going to go ahead and take another 40 minutes or 40 seconds to heat back up the temperature. I do not know who they're marketing the boss to with a runtime of a minute and 15 seconds. Um, like I said, the entire vape session last under two minutes and you got to suck as many hits as you can out of there um, and it has a pretty restrictive draw because of the ceramic chamber and I mean it's ridiculous right now I'm gonna hit it because the chamber should be warm there's no reason not to shouldn't be just heat it up as I went to go hit it So what is that, like four hits? I mean, for four hits, it's not bad. I mean, the taste is, is I mean, it's not bad, I mean, at all. It's just, for $160, I want to be able to vape for longer than a minute. You know, and I want to pack more than, you know, 0 .005 grams in there. I'll show you how much is in there.
I mean, it does do a good job. It, it, it I mean, the taste is average, maybe slightly better. I mean, as I, as I, I, I did burn offs as I go, it, it, it gets increasingly better, but I mean, really, I've already done two sessions in a five minute video. I'm going to show you the ABV. It's pretty uniform. I mean, there's not much not to be uniform about it, but as you can see, that's the amount of air that's in the chamber. I mean, that's pretty much, that's, I mean, what you pack in there. But I mean, there's no reason to pack more because you have a, a minute. I mean, you got to hurry up and just bang through this. And uh, I did try taking the ceramic piece out and it doesn't hold the screen in. So you need that ceramic piece. They designed that so it pushes up against the screen. Otherwise, that flaps around. And uh, it's just kind of annoying. I mean, and, and the vapor gets a bit hotter. So, um, the Atmos Boss. Um, after doing the transporter, I gotta say I'm, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm very disappointed in the fact that Atmos would make a vaporizer that stays on for a minute, but is awesome. I mean, it, it really is. For a, a true pen style vape, this is a great vaporizer. Would I recommend it? Absolutely. For 160 bucks, hell no. Uh, they should have stopped, not done the laser etching. Uh, I mean, just kept it short. I mean, made it this big for the, I mean, the amount of people that are going to use this are only going to use it for one or two sessions. So the battery only needs to be 200 milliamps. It doesn't need to have a 1200 milliamp battery. Nobody's going to sit there and just keep on doing sessions and sessions. So, um, uh, it is a good vaporizer for what it is. Unfortunately, I wouldn't recommend it. Uh, thanks for watching my review. I hope you found this informative.